honoree, their families, the entire Longhorn family. This is something I worked toward for about four years. It's taken a lot of work and planning to get to this point. Let me take a moment to acknowledge a few important folks. Lisa Hunter, who's the chair of the committee, uh, the, the selection committee kept this process moving. So thank goodness we had somebody keep it moving. But this is this it just got bigger and then smaller and then bigger. And then, <clears throat> anyway, the selection committee put so much work into setting criteria and reviewing the nom nominations. Stuart Dixon and his maintenance department for setting up the wall and display. This is it right here, in case you didn't figure that out yet. <laughs> Ms. Branstetter, Ms. Elkins for the refreshments at the reception. That's always important. Ms. Ozuna, Ms. Bearden and, her, and the staff here at the high school for the work they did in getting the space ready and available and to deal with the interruptions that it's caused. Early ISD school board for approving the project. The people took time to nominate individuals they felt were worthy of this honor. I hope they nominate them again. And Kim Lai for making the award plaques for the inductees. The nominations of the early ISD staff alumni who graduated or have retired at least five years ago they were accepted in April, the nominees were. There was a lot of them. Criteria that was set, uh, they had to be an alumni, a retired staff who gave back to the early ISD community. It's a tough job to go through all the nominations and choose just a few award winners. Everyone who, who was nominated had made a big positive impact on many people or nobody would have nominated them. Nominations will be accepted each year in April. I hope that this is gonna continue and a selected Longhorn legend will be honored every year at Early's homecoming activities. Early ISD's motto is what starts here changes the world. So the committee thought that was important to put that on the plaques. So we'll see those in just a second. So let's talk about the inductees this year. There are four of them. First of all, Beverly Hort. <laughs> Beverly Hort served in early school district from 1972 to 2003. She taught all levels of high school English until 1980. After that, she focused on teaching senior English and prepared all of her students for college. She was a UIL sponsor, and not only did she sponsor, she coached it as well, having numerous state qualifiers and two state winners. In 1991, she helped start Project Graduation, which is still going strong today. She was the PALS, senior class and cheerleader sponsor for many years. She was not only a leader at school, but she was also a leader in the community. She is an active member of the early Church of Christ, has served on the Youth Fire Queen Committee, and was a 4-H leader. Carpe Diem is her motto, and that she does. Thank you, Ms. Horace, for seizing the day, teaching all of us to do that as well. You are truly a Longhorn legend. John Nathan King. Yay! <laughs> you gotta say John Nathan when Linda's around. John King worked in the early school district of 1977 to 2004. He hired me to come here. He served as a high school principal from 77 to 91. He inspired his students to be respectful of their teachers, classmates, school district, and country. He had a big heart and loved early ISD dearly. He went on to serve as superintendent of Early ISD from 1991 to 2004. He left a legacy of Longhorn pride behind him that continues until this day. John King is the epitome of a Longhorn legend. His family is loving you here and accept the word for him tonight. Tonight, here and tonight, John King. <laughs> Stacy Simpson Powers was selected as one of the 19, uh, 19, 2019 Longhorn Legend. Stacy graduated from early high school in 1985 and was chosen for recognition because of her longtime commitment and dedication to mission work on the continent of Africa. Stacy has a true servant's heart and has touched the lives of many individuals over numerous years and continues to this day to demonstrate the very best characteristics of a Longhorn Legend. Her brother Brad will be accepting this award for her on her behalf as Stacy is currently still serving in Zambia. Brian and, and, and Miss Sims are here today. Missy Ryan and Chris, Chris couldn't be here, but Missy and Chris Ryan were, were selected as a couple. They were selected in recognition as a 2019 Longhorn Legend. They are alumni who give back to the community. 
Chris and Missy both graduated from early high school in 1990. And through their service to others and generosity over many years, they have both exemplified the highest qualities of what it means to be a Longhorn legend. They own Ryan Construction, which employs many people from the community, from working in concession stand, leading project graduations, to supporting many organizations in town, such as Buckmasters, Boys and Girls Club, and the Ark. They both regularly step up and volunteer their time and energy to serve the school district and community in many different ways. Chris and Missy Ryan are truly Longhorn legends. <laughs> That's all I have. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to add? Because this is your chance if you'd like to. Great, great, great. I agree. Wonderful. May I say, yes, Stacy appreciates it very much, and she's sorry she couldn't be right. here. Well, we were talking before. It's not like she could drive, drive across the road. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> or I, had, I would have driven there many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad y'all all came. I'm glad y'all all showed up for this. This, this, is, this is pretty important to me. It has been for a while trying to get it organized and trying to get it together. So if you'd like, let's look and see what this looks like. What do you say? Who wants to pull it off? I need volunteers. Okay.